What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of Code Fights 2 with Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com, where you learn to code smarter. So, let's get this episode started. We're gonna go head to head, pick somebody to fight. Let's click Let's Fight and let's get going. All right, Dark Can, Dark Khan, let's go. His language of choice is Java. Let's see if we can take him down with Python. All right, so we have a problem. Is power. So essentially, is this a power? Can you get this number by doing A to the power of B? For 72, no you can't. There's no power. You can't take any integer and raise it to some integer power to get 72. If you do five cubed, you could get 125, okay? So you're checking if any A to the power of B gives you the 72. There's not gonna be too much stuff that we're doing here. This is a bug fix, remember, the first one is a bug fix. So let's fix this bug and let's keep going. Let's hit start coding. All right, sometimes these bugs can be really annoying to fix, sometimes not really. So let's let's see if we can fix this one easily. Generally, for bug fixes, you're, you're not supposed to change anything. You're supposed to keep it the same. You just change one line. You don't really add new lines. Let's check out these uh, sample test cases. You guys sometimes might not see the sample test cases because my face might be blocking it. It might be behind me, okay? Let me just run this. So where I was expecting true, it returned false. Mm, so it's like really like flipped. If n is equal to one, return true. I think this one, I should change it to false. Let's see what happens. It says you made too many changes. Oh no, too many changes. I made only one change, you guys. Too many changes? What is this constraint? What does this even mean? What? Did they tell us how to solve it? <laughs> Come on, code fights. Where are my rules? Rules. There's one bug on one line of the code. Find it, fix it, hit submit. Okay, one bug on one line. But when I do it, it says too many changes. What does that even mean? Well, let me refresh it. Maybe there's some bug. Let me try it again. False. Too many changes. How about not true? Which is the same thing as false. Haha. -ha. What is this? What does that mean? Too many changes. I'm making a change to only one line. Okay guys, this is boring. Let's let's just skip it, alright? I'm just gonna skip it. Next. I don't care. Down. Skip. Jeez. Okay, it looks like that person skipped it too. So it looks like that problem was actually glitched. So we're gonna just ignore that one. Okay, problem two. Each, tr each tree has a crown. So it looks like this. Here's a formal definition of how the tree should be built. But before you read it, the elf highly recommends looking first at the examples that follow. Okay, so to share his, let's just read the problem. Christmas time. To share his Christmas spirit with all his friends, young Christmas elf decided to send each of them a Christmas email with a nice Christmas tree. Unfortunately, internet traffic is very expensive in the North Pole, so instead of sending an actual image, he decided to draw the tree using only asterisks. Okay, weird, but sure. He has given you the specs, see below, and your task is to write a program that would generate trees following the spec and some initial parameters. 
Ishri has a crown that looks as follows. Okay. Define a line as a horizontal group of asterisks and a level as a as a collection of level height lines stacked one on top of the other. Below the crown, there are level num levels. The tree is perfectly symmetric, so all the middle asterisks of the lines lie on the center of the tree. Okay. Each line at the same level. Wow. These are some jacked trees, huh? So if you give the Christmas tree level num, level height, it makes the tree like this. All right, cool. The crown level one, the foot. Okay, a lot of stuff going on here. Now the thing is, we might not even have to understand the problem because there might be a recovery that we have to do. So, what is cursed spaces? Hmm, what the heck is cursed spaces? Let's try max spaces minus one. Let's see if that yields an answer. To be honest, code fights, you gotta get rid of these problems. These problems are just bad. The, the ones with recovery and stuff, just add problems where you have to solve them, all right? It's weird having to do bug fixes. It's not really testing your coding skills. All right, um, so I'm essentially just trying to do some pattern matching here, but let me see if I have to get smarter. So I'm getting the wrong answer. I'm off by, off by what? Okay, my face might be hiding the test cases, but trust me, the test cases are, you know, are there. I'm looking at the test cases. Hmm. What the heck is going on here? That's pretty much what we made. Max spaces plus one? Maybe it's min spaces? I don't even know if min spaces is a thing. Probably not. That's how curve spaces is defined up here. Not exactly sure how it'll be defi defined down here. Max spaces. Minus one was the closest we came. Like the two trees look exactly the same. Our output and the expected output literally look pretty close. Hmm, actually maybe not, no. No, they definitely look 100% the same. But for whatever reason it says we're not correct. Maybe a bug? Maybe? Uh, next, down vote. Let's skip this one too. Let's get to the next one. Okay, this one will probably be a fun, funner one because we actually get to write code rather than just bug fixes. So let's get to it. Little boy's mother didn't buy him a candy, so now he's sulky and moody. He turns everything you say upside down. If you say that something is true, he'll say it's false and vice versa. Find out what the boy will say about the statement you're about to make. So if the statement is false, the output should be true. If the statement is true, the output should be false. What the hell just happened? It just went from like these ridiculously hard and problematic and bugged out problems, you know, one line solutions or whatever, 
to just the easiest thing in the world. Like this is gonna be literally return not whatever that was given. It's gonna be like, a, it's gonna take a second. It, it's gonna come down to this round. If I write the solution to this faster than the other guy, I win. So the solution is gonna be return not something. Return not statement. Check the solution, done. Woo! All right, now we gotta see if we did it faster than this guy. Because if we did, we win. No, I'm gonna vote it down. Like, what is this? We, that was the easiest thing in the world. All right, guys, that was awesome. We killed it. As you can see, we were clearly better. We outsmarted the other guy 100%. And uh, that was great. <laughs> we, we won, okay? Doesn't it feel good to win this? It was very hard fought. Thank you guys for being there. I appreciate you. And if you liked it, comment in the video below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.